Thank you for joining me during today's morning prayer. I love you. I care about you. You should know that. I don't know of anybody in this physical planet who loves you like I do. Nobody. Let's go. For this good morning prayer, I want us to look at Psalm 116 verse 1. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. My name is the Most Reverend Dikai Mary. Hello. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our morning prayer. Thank you very much. This is a very important place that God meets with us. God said to me that when I open my mouth and I begin to minister like this, these are what we call the high form of prayers that he will come down to use the word of my mouth to open opportunities find you a job give you promotion make you win election he will use the word that I proclaim from sacred scriptures he will turn it into things including investment business and money including healing you. Let's go. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. Get that straight. The psalmist says that he loves the Lord because God has a peculiar habit and that is the habit of listening to the voice of the psalmist. I love him. So here is a human being talking to a human God. That's how I describe our God. Our Jesus is human. The Holy Spirit is not. God the Father is not. But you see Jesus took our humanity and tweaked it into the middle of divinity. <laughs> That's why I can play with that word. A human God and yet spirit tell me about it completely removed from us but we are completely in him and he is completely in us a mystery not really mysterious look at this I love the Lord Wow for he heard my voice See, the love deepened. Why? Because there is a master. And there is a master that can never fail you. And whenever you raise your voice, you cry out for something. You are needing of something. You are needing of someone's shoulder to put your head there. Someone's chest to lay there. You need somebody who will understand you. You need somebody who will run to you. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. Whatever he was doing, he turned his attention to me. Listen to this. This is so fascinating. He heard me. That's very important. Do you have someone in your life who no matter what happened, will leave everything and turn his attention or her attention to you. Knowing your deep needs, knowing your need, your want or your wishes. Lord, my master, I need a Rolls Royce. Boom, I heard you. I have given you one. It will come this year. Master, I'm qualified to have my own jet. I've given you one. My master, my lord, my owner, 
I'm qualified to live in a mansion. I've heard you. I'll make sure you have it. Master, I need to have businesses. I need to have investment. I want to leave a big legacy on the earth. I want to build this. I want to build this. I want to build this for you and for me and for the good of humanity. I've heard you. And you are sick. Master, I'm sick. Come to my aid. He said, I'm right there already. Wow. I want food filled. That pantry. They are filled already. God gave me a secret that is really outstanding. He said to me, I don't know whether I should share this with you or not. This is how I'm going to put it. He told me that he is called the supplier. And that he's always there. You see, your voice is familiar to him. He cannot miss your voice. You see, when you see the seals, the sea lions, the penguins, you see them in their millions by the snow, in the snow country. Every mother knows the voice of his own babies. Every baby knows the voice of his mother. How is that possible? So when the mothers are coming back from feeding in the deep ocean or sea, they know exactly where their babies are. No mother will go to a different baby. That's amazing. Same thing with buffaloes. The different creatures of the earth. My own knows my voice and they follow me. My sheep knows my voice. That's what Jesus said. And the psalmist, the writer of this psalm says, I love him. Because he knows my voice. That's the meaning of he hears. He knows my voice. He knows that is my voice. And he comes and say, son or daughter, I'm right here. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this. Like this. He heard my cry for mercy. He heard my cry for help. So it shows that he is there for you. And you need someone like this on the earth who will hear your voice who can recognize your voice easily and will hear your cry let's go look at this because he turned his ear to me oh my god look at this i will call on him as long as i live so this is devotion friendship relationship more than marriage he turned his ears he turned his ears for me for me wow time okay so i want you to think about that do you have someone who will give you attentive listening attentive listening some people are in my presence and they are looking at their Facebook and they are trying to talk to me and say, no, you can't go because you are not serious. When you are serious, you call me to minister to you. I want you to think about that. Do you have someone who will turn his ear to solve your problem? If you don't have that, look for me. I asked God to open your ears and your eyes to see me as a deliverer and to see the Almighty God in whose name I minister as your deliverer. Amen.